The following chemical energetics question, the question uh, uh, is related to Hess law and the question states that propanone has the molecular formula c 3860 so that is given, uh, you have the molecular formula of propanone at c 3860 and he's given you the enthalpy change of combustion of hydrogen, that's given, the enthalpy change of combustion of carbon is given and the enthalpy change of formation of propanone is given, so three things are given, you're given the enthalpy change, let's underline that uh, enthalpy change of combustion of hydrogen is given of carbon is also given and enthalpy change of formation of propanone is given and what you are asked is use this information what is the enthalpy change of combustion of propanone so you've been asked to find out the enthalpy change of combustion of propanone now uh, we need to you can either do this question in two ways uh, this is the unknown so this is what you what you're after you want to figure out the enthalpy change of combustion of propanone uh, the uh, two three ways of solving this question one is you draw a hair cycle but instead of drawing a hair cycle if you can understand the trick there's an easier method of solving this question and that is that we're going to focus on the enthalpy change of formation of propanone first so let's uh, let's uh, keep our eyes on this uh, let's focus on the enthalpy change of uh, let's under let's highlight this enthalpy change of combustion not combustion of carbon sorry uh, let's focus on the enthalpy change of formation of propanone. So let's focus on this. Uh, propanone is c 3 6 o as is mentioned in the, in the first statement of this question. So we have propanone. The enthalpy change of formation of propanone would be, uh, the reaction would be that one mole of propanone would be formed from its constituent elements which are carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. So, so you're going to form one mole of propanone from carbon hydrogen and the elements must be in their standard states and oxygen so these are the elements that would form uh, one mole of propanone i need to balance this so there would be three carbons and they're going to be three hydrogen molecules and they would be half o2 molecule remember uh, when you're dealing with enthalpy of formation of propanone uh, Propanone must be kept one mole, one mole, which is why I have to put half in in front of O2 because there's only one oxygen in the pro product. So this is my enthalpy change of formation of propanone, and the value for this particular reaction is already known. It's known. It's given as uh, minus wow. 254 kilojoules per mole. So this value is already with us. It's minus 254 kilojoules per mole. So we already know this value. Now what we need to uh, find out is, uh, uh, we need to find out uh, what, what else is given is the enthalpy change of combustion of hydrogen, so that's given. So enthalpy change of combustion of hydrogen, that's one of my reactants in, the, in, that, in, in this equation. So that's given, enthalpy change of combustion of carbon is also given. So delta HC of carbon is also given. And we are asked to find the enthalpy change of combustion of uh, propanone, which is C3H6O. That is not known. So this quantity over here, that's not given. And we need to find this quantity over here. The enthalpy change of combustion of hydrogen that's given is minus 286. So that's, that's provided over here. It's minus 286. Of carbon is minus 394. So that's minus 394. Uh, Oxygen, the enthalpy change of com combustion of oxygen is zero. So let's write that down as well because you can't burn oxygen. Oxygen doesn't burn. So enthalpy change of combustion of oxygen is going to be exactly zero. And this quantity over here is unknown. Now I've set up the question. Now if you notice, the enthalpy change for this reaction is already known. That's given as minus 254 kilojoules per mole. Uh, but... In this reaction, we have the enthalpies of combustion of the reactants and we have the enthalpy of combustion of the products, which is not known, but we uh, we need to find that out. So the enthalpy of this particular reaction, let's highlight that, can be found out, this entire reaction over here, can be found out using the formula, which is that the enthalpy of a reaction is basically equal to the sum of the enthalpy of combustion of reactants. minus the sum of the enthalpies of combustion of products. 
So I'm going to apply this formula that the enthalpy of this reaction, which is already known, it's already known as minus 254, the enthalpy of this reaction is basically equal to the, is equal to the sum of the enthalpy of combustion of reactants. So these values are given over here, minus the sum of the enthalpies of combustion of the products. So I'm going to apply that formula now. So the enthalpy of the reaction is already known, it's minus 254 kilojoules per mole. So that is already given to us. And I'm going to apply this formula. So my reactants are uh, the enthalpy of combustion. I'm going to sum the enthalpies of combustion of reactants. So it's minus, uh, so it's going to be minus uh, 394. But that would be multiplied by 3 because I have 3 carbon atoms over here. So I'm going to sum the enthalpies of combustion of the reactants plus uh, the enthalpy of combustion of hydrogen, which is minus 286. But again, there are three hydrogens, so that would be multiplied by that is going to be multiplied by 3 as well. So that's 3 uh, multiplied by 286. I've put the minus sign before that. And O2 is 0. So these are my reactants minus the products. So I'm going to put the products in the brackets as well. Uh, so the product is unknown. The enthalpy of combustion of the product is unknown. So I'm going to put an X over there. And there's only one product. So that's just one the enthalpy of combustion of C3H6O. So this is my product. This value is unknown and I'm going to try and solve this for X. Now the first thing I need to do is I need to rearrange the terms so that X becomes the X becomes the uh, subject of the equation. So that can be done. Uh, let's get rid of the signs first. Uh, this would be plus, this would become minus and this would become plus as well. So your X would be equal to it's going to be equal to 254. And if I get this entire thing on the other side, this minus sign goes away. So it's going to be minus 394 times 3. And let's keep that in the bracket. And minus 3 times 286. And I'm going to try and solve this on my calculator now. And the answer that I'm getting for this calculation on my calculator is it's coming out to be minus 1786. And remember what X was. X was the enthalpy of combustion of C386. So this was the unknown quantity in the entire formula. So this is X. It's minus 1786. And this is what we wanted. We wanted to find the combustion of propanone. Hence, the correct answer is going to be option C. It's going to be minus 1786 kilojoules per mole.